Hello and uh, welcome to today's video on uh, numericals uh, based on uh, listing of ships. Uh, we have uh, already discussed the theory behind uh, uh, listing of ships uh, in a previous video. Uh, just to record uh, the inclination of the ship uh, in a uh, vertical plane across the central line axis that is what we mean by list it is uh, uh, created by internal forces on the ship like uh, uh, movement of mass uh, shifting of mass uh, your uh, shifting of some liquids like ballast water oil fresh water or movement of a crane etc uh, so this is something which is not desirable on ships. Uh, it will affect uh, people on board. It will affect uh, the cargo being carried. It will also affect the machineries, uh, which need to be functioning function smoothly on board the vessel. So we have to know beforehand whether a list will develop uh, due to some action uh, being carried out on ship. And if at all a ship has developed a list, how we can prevent it? That is something which we need to know. So let us uh, see some more numericals uh, which would uh, help us in uh, uh, understanding the idea of uh, how list is calculated. A ship initially upright has a displacement of 12,200 tons, kg 6.36 meters and km 7.62 meters. A weight of 40 tons in the lower port in a position kg 2.2 meters. 4 meters to the port of central line. Calculate the final list if the weight is shifted to a new position on the deck, kg 11.4 meter and 2.6 meters to starboard on the central line. So clearly this question is a one in which there is a shift of mass and it is said that ship is initially upright. Again, if I can uh, tell you, uh, the term upright or even keel means uh, no list condition. It clearly stated that our ship is upright. So from this position, there is a shift of mass from a lower hold to the deck. The position is given and we need to calculate what is the final list because of this movement of the mass. So this is clearly a, a section which we we need to calculate the shift of mass in the vertical plane. So if we again take our formula GGV, where GV is the new position of center of gravity in the vertical plane, is W into D by W, where small w is the mass, which is uh, given as 40 tons into the distance mode. So distance mode in the uh, vertical plane is taken as 11 meters. Uh, in the final position minus 2.2 meters that is the initial position so that will be the distance move in the uh, vertical plane so uh, divided by capital W which is the ship's displacement so GGV is 0 0.03 meters it is given in the question initial kg is 6.36 uh, meters and there is a shift in uh, uh, the uh, the center of gravity from g to g v the shift is 0 0.03 meters as we have calculated so your final kg becomes uh, 6.39 meters uh, and if we subtract this final kg from the km value which is again given in the question as 7.62 minus the final kg which we have got now we will get the final gm value that is 1.23 meters so now it, again if we take the horizontal plane GGH is W into D by W so uh, this is nothing but 40 into uh, uh, the movement is uh, from as it is clearly said from 4 meters port to 2.6 meters starboard so for this reason we are adding the distance from 4 meters to central line a distance of 4 meters more from central line to 2.6 meters 2.6 so we are adding here. Please don't get confused. Here there is subtraction. Here there is addition. So uh, divided by uh, your displacement of the vessel 12200. So you will get 0 0.022. So this is 
So if you take the ratio tan theta GGH by uh, uh, your kg, you will get the final value 0 0.022 or theta will be uh, 0 0.01789 uh, angle uh, degrees. So this is how we solve this question. Again, if we, uh, that is, uh, yeah, the final list is uh, 1 degree. 1 degree corresponding to this value, we will get 1 degree. That will be to the star board because the shifting has happened to the star board. So this is how we solve this question. I hope uh, you have understood. And again, if we discuss another question, a chip initially up, upright displaces 6400 tons and has kg 4.6, km 6.5. A weight of 80 tons is loaded on deck, kg 10.2 meters, 6.2 meters off the center line to starboard. Calculate the final list. Assume km remains constant. So the difference between the previous question and this question is clearly the previous question there is a shifting of mass which is already on board the vessel in this question we have a addition of mass as you can see a weight of 80 tons is loaded on the deck it is uh, a addition of mass so outside the ship outside the system we have a new mass coming into the ship and that is posing a list this question is very similar to a situation what you will encounter on a container vessel when you are loading or unloading containers so again, uh, the approach is same. First, you start with your vertical shift. GGV is W into D by W plus W. So uh, here, the weight added is 80 tons. Into your distance more is 10.2 uh, uh, minus 4.6, your uh, kg value, uh, plus uh, that is divided by your final displacement of the vessel is 6400 plus the weight of the mass added. So that is why this addition is coming in the denominator. You get 0 0.069 meters as the vertical shift of center of gravity. Now given it is initial kg is 4.6, that in that we are adding the GG value, we will get the final kg as 4.669 meters. Now we know that the KM is given as 6.5. And the final kg we have calculated 4.669. So if I subtract this here, I'll get 1.831 as the final GM value. Now if I come to the horizontal plane, uh, the shift in center of gravity, GGH is small w into d by the final displacement of the vessel. So in this condition, we have uh, a 80 into 6.2. 6.2 that is a uh, distance uh, uh, of the position where loading has happened uh, divided by the final displacement. So we will get 0 0.077 meters. Tan theta is nothing but GGH by GM final. So if you take the ratio, you will get this value. So correspondingly, theta we can find out 2.4 degree starboard because the loading has happened to the starboard. The list will also be. No question. Uh, a ship initially upright displaces 14480 tons and has kg 8.82 km 10.96. A weight of 240 tons is discharged from a position of lower hold kg 3.62.8 off central line to the hold. Now calculate the final list. So this question is opposite of the previous question where we are removing a mass, just like we are discharging a container. The same situation. Again, the approach is same. GGV, the vertical shift in center of gravity w into d by w here it will be subtraction the final displacement will be the displacement of the vessel minus the weight of the mass removed so that we will get uh, in terms of uh, the now the distance is the uh, the distance kg 8.82 minus 3.6 so the vertical plane ggv is uh, 0 0.088 meters that value we are adding to the kg we will get final kg 8.908 uh, this final kg we subtract from kf will get final gm as 2.052 meters now coming to the horizontal plane uh, w into d by w minus w w is 240 tons which is removed into 2.8 that is the uh, position where the from where the weight is removed divided by the final uh, displacement you'll get 0 0.047 so if i take the ratio of 0 0.047 to the final GM, I'll get the value of tan theta 0 